In part one, chapter eight of Gulliver's Travels, after three days on Blefuscu, Gulliver spies an overturned boat at sea. And with the help of Blefuscu's navy, he retrieves the ship and brings it to shore for repairs. But Gulliver also receives orders to return to Lilliput for his punishment. The emperor of Blefuscu wants him to stay and help defend against a Lilliputian attack. But Gulliver decides it's time to leave for home. Both Lilliput and Blefuscu find Gulliver's leaving an agreeable solution to their problems. He takes with him food, drink, and a few tiny animals from Blefuscu. After two days at sea, he's picked up by a British vessel and at last returns to his family in England. After his experience in Lilliput, Gulliver is reluctant to accept protection from the monarch of Blefuscu, even though it's offered to him. Gulliver resolves never more to put any confidence in princes or ministers where I could possibly avoid it even though he believes the offer of protection is sincere. This statement represents commentary of governments as ultimately unreliable, which indicates a need for individual self-reliance. The true intention of the Lilliputian allegations against Gulliver becomes clear in their response to his decision to leave the area. They agree to any course of action that absolves them from paying for his substantial upkeep any longer.